It's worth putting time and effort into finding the right love because it's necessary for both a happy and healthy life. Here are 10 suggestions for finding the ideal partner. 1. Get to know lots of single, available people. Some people are fortunate enough to meet their soulmate in high school or college, but what happens if you haven't found that person by the time you graduate? As many single potential partners as you can meet. Attend singles dances after the pandemic is over, and register for your favorite activities. Join an online dating site in the interim. According to Stanford sociologist Michael Rosenfeld and colleagues, meeting online has overtaken meeting through friends as the most common way couples meet. The majority of the people you meet through online dating are people you would not have otherwise encountered, and the more people you meet, the more likely it is that you will find the right person for you. Sadly, people may present false information about themselves online. A quick face-to-face -face meeting in a well-lit public area is the best way to spot a fake. The person is probably not whom they say they are if they repeatedly decline or reschedule the meeting. When you finally meet the person, pay attention to how you feel in your body. Are you attracted to them right away or are you initially uncomfortable? Learn to respect your body's first response. 2. Recognize your needs and personality traits in a partner. Everyone has different requirements for a partner. Choose the traits you value and don't stop looking for someone who possesses them. 3. Be curious about your first date. Ask them directly, are you looking for marriage or just a hookup? Be very honest with them. Would you like kids? Where would you like to reside? If the other person only wants to hook up but you're looking for marriage, don't try to change their mind, it's probably better to walk away. You might be a good match if you're both looking for the same thing. You should end the relationship if your goal is to have five kids and the other person is certain they don't want any. It is preferable to know the answers to those questions before developing strong feelings for something. 4. Ascertain your spiritual compatibility and, if not, your ability to respect the beliefs of the other. Make sure you can respect and support the other person's beliefs without attempting to change them if one of you is Catholic and the other is Muslim. The crucial query is, what religion would you raise your children in? If you have any thoughts of getting married to the person, you need to talk about this and come to a solution that will satisfy both of you before you become emotionally attached. 5. Verify your compatibility sexually. Following are some extremes, some people don't need or care about having sex. Some people crave sex every day. Others only require sex once per month. Conflict will result if a person who needs sex once a month marries someone who needs sex twice a day, and the marriage is unlikely to last. When I was single, I prepared a list of inquiries to bring up during the first date. How frequently do you need to have sex? Was one of them. I only dated people who were sexually compatible with me because sex was important to me. 6. Verify your financial compatibility. If a frugal person marries a spendthrift, their union may not last if they share a bank account. The stingy spouse, on the other hand, might enjoy receiving numerous gifts from the generous spouse if they maintain separate finances throughout their marriage, as long as the generous spouse avoids going further into debt. Deep debt incurred by the generous one will lead to incompatibility. 7. Verify your emotional compatibility. Some people enjoy holding hands, saying and hearing loving words, and being in each other's arms. Other people are unable to express their love and dislike physical closeness, outside of during sex. It might not work out if a cuddly person marries a non-cuddly person. Before becoming emotionally invested in an unhealthy relationship, you need to walk away. 8. Verify your intellectual compatibility. Some people have a broad range of interests, are constantly seeking out and learning new things, and enjoy traveling. Others don't care to learn new things and would rather stay at home and perform the same mundane tasks every day. These two personalities would probably not get along in a marriage. 9. Ascertain that you can discuss issues. There will be issues, whether they come up soon or not. Usually, they do. Problems will arise, whether they are related to your health, your children's or parents' well-being, your job, or your finances. Make sure you and your partner can communicate, listen to each other, and solve problems as a team. 10. Invest time and effort in seeking the ideal partner. We invest time, money, and effort into our education and job search. 
When seeking the ideal relationship, we must follow the same strategy. It's just as crucial to be proactive and actively look for the ideal partner as it is to find the ideal position. We could wait a very long time if we wait for the right partner to magically appear at our door, but choosing the wrong partner could ruin our life, health, and finances. We will be happier and healthier, and may even live longer if we seek out and find the ideal love. Be persistent and patient while maintaining your optimism. Recognize that the ideal partner is out there, you just need to find them. When you meet new people, pay attention to how your body responds. When the right person is in front of you, your body will let you know, you'll feel at ease and excited at the same time, your heart will be racing, and you'll experience butterflies.